2003, I was running in a 10K in the Bay Area, and Erica was supposed to be standing by her dad with her older brother and the baby in the stroller, and she broke away when she saw us come around the corner, and she ran and finished the race with us on the other side of the fence. And we knew that this girl, um, this girl's gonna be an athlete. Hi, my name is Erica Davis. I am 31 years old, and I am an athlete and speaker. I was diagnosed with, it's called cavernous hemangioma. So it's kind of like, since I was born, I've had a small clump of tangled blood vessels in my back. And just over time, the capillary walls just got weak and a microscopic drop of blood leaked into my spinal cord. So it's a one in five million chance that it will leak. And I won the lottery on that. I felt that as a father I wasn't able to protect her from something that even the doctors misdiagnosed at the beginning and it uh, of course brought tears to my eyes that she would never walk again and I wondered what her outlook on life would be, what the opportunities would be for her. When I was originally diagnosed and told I wasn't going to walk again, uh, my dad told me and he said, I don't remember it, but he said my immediate response was that now I get to race with with Uncle Danny um, who is a cousin in a chair. The differences in Erica's mentality after the diagnosis is that she shows her true colors. Before she was quiet and after the diagnosis she has become more outgoing. She's willing to talk to strangers. She's very proactive in the things that she does but I believe all of those things were there before her diagnosis, that someone just doesn't come up with a change in personality like that. I decided uh, I wanted to race. Well, actually, I was entered into my first race when I was only um, seven months after my injury, so being paralyzed, and I had my hand cycle for about a month um, and did an 8K race and came in first only female, but came in first place in my, my first race. So after that, um, I raced before my injury, so it, you know, I just knew I wanted to do more. My biggest accomplishment would be climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. We did it in five and a half days. Four and a half, those were hiking days. We had a rest day in there, and you start in the rainforest and end up on the top. Um, there's glaciers all around there. And it was, once we got to the top, it was like, it was just an awe-inspiring moment, just looking around. I have a goal of, of course, walking again. And so I work with a, a body worker twice a week. Um, and just, he works on my neurological and I do, a lot of um, therapy with that, um, crawling, and um, I have a standing frame, and you know, just working my legs so that they're getting stimulation. Her mentality has been that let's see what we can do, can to make the best of this, but her mentality has also been that she will walk again.